What's up everybody, Zet here. Hope you guys have a wonderful and a fantastic day. And I'm very happy that you stopped by. It's been a long time since I've made one of these videos where I'm not opening packs, where I'm not talking about a market, but it's very, very exciting for me because it just came in today. Now you're probably wondering what this box is. Let me give you a little bit of story. In 2020, there's a huge influx of interest in the hobby, in the card market that everybody was sending the cards into PSA, Professional Sports Authenticator, to get their cards graded, to get a premium, and to cash in on this market hype. I gotta say, I'm one of those people myself. I send in cards to get graded, hopefully to get some good grades and probably cash in a little. But at the end of the day, I'm still very much a collector first than a seller second. I don't even much really sell cards. So I'm very excited to say, that my submission from November 2020 has made it back into my doorstep today at 2022. To be a little bit honest, a little bit pretext, I kind of forgot what cards I got in there, but there are three cards, three big hitters that I really, really want good grades on. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that we get some good grades. Without further ado, let's break into the box. Got my little trusty scissors here. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm like shaking. All right, that was a little bit tough to open, but we got it open uh oh i hope i hope it looks good so a little bit more pretext i sent my cards to get graded on november 2020 uh through a bulk or middleman service called graded gems now they've been very very helpful they sent me updates at like the end of 2020 no at the middle of 2021 and I've been getting updates that these were in research and ID, research and ID, research and ID, and they finally got graded, got <laughs> stuck in grading for like six months. And finally, they came through. All right. This box is lighter than this box. This, uh, this box is really heavy. So I don't know which is which, but let's, let's open this one first. I'm super excited. This looks promising. All right. Slabs are wrapped. All right, I see some Pokemon. If I remember the story of each card, I'm gonna talk about it. But if I don't, I'm gonna give a little backstory. If I don't, I'll probably be like, I don't remember when I bought it. All right, so let's do this. We'll do the tacky way. Uh, block, out the, block off the top of the card and then flip it and guess the grade. I'll give you guys a chance to guess that grade. This on the back looks pretty messed up right here. I don't even know what it is, but this is the 5 million number. We're like well into the, miss, the mid 6 million. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, it's a Tyranitar. I got this at uh, Facebook Marketplace for like $25 because I was trying to get um, e-reader cards. I, I thought these e-readers are pretty cool. I was trying to get into some of these cards. Let's guess what this grade is. This card looks pretty, pretty minty. The back looks... There's a nick right here, I can already tell. I'm not sure if the, the back was already like this. Tyranitar from Aquapolis, reverse hollow. Here we go. A seven. Yeah, I didn't really imagine it was gonna be that good a grade. I actually forgot that I bought this card, but it's still pretty cool. $25 for a PSA seven. Um, I'm gonna give you the math of the grading probably like under if i remember to talk about it at the end but i don't want to talk too much about it it's around to our reverse hollow it looks pretty nice i'm very glad i got a decent grade for a pretty cheap card all right what is this what is this oh i forgot to send this in this is part of the collection that my fiance sent me my wife now actually that's how long it took this is part of a collection that my fiance found in her collection box she said hey i got these pokemon cards uh, why don't you just take a look or even take it? I'm like, cool, I'll, I, I, love, I would love it. <laughs> so this card doesn't look that good. You see corners here. The back looks pretty clean. Front looks all right. There, I feel like I, I see some scratches, but it's a first edition. I'm guessing it's a five, probably four. Whoa, it's a six. Wow, okay. That is pretty good. I count that as a win too. Oh my goodness. That's great, fantastic, cool. If this is the same collection, this should be, there, there's the big threes in here, but it's not like Shadowless big three. Oh, it's a regular Alakazam. There's scratches on here. This is definitely a four, like it was pretty beat. 
All right, let's let's flip. Oh, it's a five. What is going on? I'll take fives. I've had conditions similar like this that got a four. Maybe I got a good grade there. All right, this already in the back looks pretty good. No, this is Espeon. Okay, so a little backstory on this. I cracked this on a hidden face tin like two years before 2020. So 2018, I got a grade at BGS. I got, it came back a nine. So I thought, you know, let's see if I could get it a good grade. Hidden Fates, Shiny Espeon. We got a nine. All right. So even though Yukaros grade is still getting a nine. Oh, well, that's, I, I took a shot, right? <laughs> this should be a Charizard GX. Right? Yeah, okay. So I, these both got a 9 at BGS. I was trying to see if I could get like a better grade. It looks pretty good to me at the moment. At the at the time. Alright. Shiny Charizard, Hidden Fates. I'm expecting, it's probably a 9. It's a 9. Yeah. So even you've cross grade, BGS got it pretty correct. And this is a 9. So, not too shabby. Alright, so since this card is pretty clean, this should be the Champion's Path. Charizard. Oh, he opened it ETB when I was really bored. Yep. We'll see what grade this is. Shining Charizard. Champion's Path. Let's go. Oh, 10! Wow! First 10, only 10. That's... That's delicious. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Too bad I got... I, Got impatient and bought a slab. This is gorgeous. Wow, a 10. That's awesome. All right, let's open the heavy box because there's three cards in there that I'm very excited to know what the grades are. This is a 25 card submission. And then in around February, I, I submitted more cards, like 75, so like 50 more cards. We'll probably wait until 2023 to get those back. I have no idea what this is. This looks clean. Looks good in the back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I I opened one of these, and I was like, oh, it looks the centering looks pretty nice. It would be nice to have a pair of like a good regular promo Charizard with the shiny Charizard. Champions Path Elite Trainer Box promo Charizard. On the conservative side, I'm gonna say a nine. It's a ten. Wow. Modern cards are really great, easy, huh? Wow, this makes me feel a lot better about a lot of the cards that I have on my reservoir to get graded. Wow, okay, this is a 10. That's great. I think this is consecutive too, right? 6, 0, 6, 5, 8, 9, 3, 9, 4, consecutive. Sequen sequential, whatever they call it. Actually, these are all in the same submission, so it makes sense to be sequential. Doi. This card looks, all right, the back already looks pretty meh. It's probably one of the big threes that I submitted. No, oh, this, okay, mm. this is the card. This is one of the cards I'm really, really excited about uh, getting great. It is a German Sky Ridge Crystal Charizard. <sighs> now that I, I don't, I didn't really remember what the condition was like, but now looking at the corners and stuff, it looks pretty bad. I'm gonna say a seven. <sighs> this is one of the big items. I bought this for like 400 euros at the time. When, when things were getting crazy. So it's about like, I wanna say five, 600. Uh, it cost grading. Uh, there's a little nick right there too. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Sky Rich, Crystal Charizard, German. Oh, it's a six. Wow, this is a harsh grade. Wow, okay. Let's see. There's some nicks. I see it now. There's some nicks and scratches. So I basically, I probably broke even on this card in the secondary market. This is a shame. I was really hoping that this card would kind of like a seven or an eight, but a six, that's okay. It's still a Crystal Charizard, you know? It was really harsh. Like this was down to six, but it has scratches on the surface. There's some scratches. There, there are some scratches on this card. I, I reckon. Yeah, you know what? The more I talk about it, the more I accept it. it. It's a six, whatever. This condition looks fine. I don't even know what it is. It's probably one of the big threes, meaning the basic big, the base set big threes. No, <laughs> I keep forgetting I bought cards before when the the market started booming. 
This is a Dark Charizard I bought in a collection lot on eBay for like, I wanna say $70. It had like some Topps cards and then I was like, oh, it's a, there's a Dark Charizard. You know, it'll be fun to, to buy this and get this graded. The back looks pretty good. Like there's like a little nick here. I'm expecting like probably a seven at least. Dark Charizard, Team Rocket, let's go. A eight? Spectacular. Okay. This is a really good grade. This is a fantastic grade. An eight? I was expecting a seven. Because the centering is good. The edges and corners are not. The surface I think is fantastic, so I guess that's what gave it a little bit more grade. I'm guessing the edges and the corners were what docked the points. So this is good. This is great. I count this as a win. I bought this for $70. I think I know what, which card this is. This is in the collection. There was a Shining Charizard from Neo Destiny. One Neo Revelations. One of the Neo sets, sorry. So I think this is it because I can see the corners and stuff. This is it? Yeah, it is. All right. Is this going to match the one that I found on the streets many, many years ago? Is this going to be a PSA 4? Shining Charizard. Neo Destiny. Neo Revelations. Neo set. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> a fair 1.5. I heard that grades like these actually fetch a premium, but 0.5s are really hard to get any premium. So this is basically a crumbled piece of paper at this point. <laughs> a fair 1.5 is still, a Shining Charizard is still a Shining Charizard, but wow. A worse grade, but on one of the rarest cards, that's still, decent i guess condition is bad it's probably one of one of the cards from the collection is it one of the big three yes it's a venusaur this venusaur is scratched up it looked like it got played on pavement this card definitely got a one or something if this got a 1.5 this this card better get a one base set unlimited venusaur a four oh, ah, ah. <laughs> a four Okay, so let me get this straight. There's silvering, centering is whatever. There's silvering, there's edge wear, there's corner wear. And you're telling me this gets a four, but this get creases and it's a 1.5? I have a similar Shining Charizard first edition that is like similar to this condition. And that was a four. And this is a four? Not complaining. This is not discuss how they grading time. This is reveal of my PSA submission time. This is probably one of the Charizards, right? No, this is a Blastoise. This better to get like a two or something. At that time, I was like, base set, one of the big threes, just throw it into submission because it was so cheap to submit. It was like a quarter of what it costs to, to submit now. Base set, <laughs> base set Blastoise, unlimited. It's a three, okay. Okay, so this is a three. One, three, four. I'm not even gonna contest it. All right, next card. This should be the Charizard. Yes. This is the base set Unlimited Charizard. It's slightly more, it's better conditioned than both the Venusaur. Actually, it's probably the same condition as the Venusaur, but better conditioned than the Blastoise. That back looks awful. <laughs> All right. Base set Charizard Unlimited. A four, yep. I was about to say, it looks very much like the Venusaur. It's probably gonna get the same grade as the Venusaur, and it did. So, it's pretty cool. I never realized how much Charizards I actually submitted until I'm looking at it at, at this angle right here. This should be another Charizard, and the back looks all right. It looks, looks all right. <laughs> yes, it is. Front scratch, same thing with dots. All right, let's go. Charizard, base out of limited. Grade is the five. Wow. Spectacular. Okay. Is it because this one has a blatant print line like right here and this one doesn't? Whatever, it's a win. One grade higher. That's cool. Wow, I should just use this as like my, my header picture, huh? Just to, to reel people in to watch. All right, these two, these two cards, these three cards, 
these four cards. All right, all these cards. I don't know which is which yet. Let me see. I think these, the rest of these are Yu-Gi-Oh. And two of them are what I'm really excited about. There's a lot of the... There's a lot of it is just the same card, and I'm assuming it's this. <gasps> no! Okay, 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 okay. All right, this is one of the most excited cards. This is one of the cards that I was anticipating the most. Like, when I bought this card as a pair, it was the Black Luster Soldier and the Chaos Emperor Dragon, which I believe it is this card. I so desperately want this card to be a PSA 10. There's so much childhood memories when it comes to this card. There's so much nostalgia when it comes to this card and me personally because I cracked this card like three times when it was still Invasion of Chaos uh, in the first edition set. And when it came out with the collector's rare, I, I, I just know I have to buy it and try to get it graded. This is, this is it. I really, really hope that this is a 10. <sighs> Come on. Come on, Yugi. Please, Yugi. All right, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Toon Chaos. Oh, it's a nine. Damn. I don't really use that word often, but I kind of... Um, this one hurts. I really wanted this to be a 10, but it looks so gorgeous. I'm, I'm probably still going to keep it. Yeah, I think the centering is what gave it away, and I took a shot. I took a really big shot, but it didn't come back through. That's okay. This is one of the big threes. I hope the Chaos Emperor Dragon got a 10. If this is correct, this should be the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Yes. Yes, it is. I like this card too. Didn't really have that much fond memories because I didn't open any. I opened that stupid level 8 <laughs> that negates the effects of quick play spell cards. It was like Doctor Doom or like Invader of Chaos or something. Chaos Emperor Dragon. And Way of the End. Toon Chaos. This is... The, I knew... In the back of my mind, I knew this was gonna get 10. Wow, this is gorgeous. I'm definitely keeping it. I'll try to probably get a 10 to match this 10. It would have been so good if they're sequential and they're both 10s, but... Oh, wow. Well. Now, all these... All these, there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These all should be the same card. It is the Dark Magician Girl Lost Art from the 2020 version. This card was so popular that Konami decided to give everybody a second chance to get the card um, in 2021. So there's a 2020 version and 2021. I bought like 10 of these. One of them came damaged and now I have nine of these. Nine shots to get a 10. So, all right, here we go. Dark Magician Girl Lost Art Collection. That's a nine. Yeah, it didn't look that good because I'm looking through the light here. Did not look that great. Got eight more shots to go. Let's just blow through all these, all right? Dark Magician Girl, Lost Art Promotion. An eight, wow, this is even worse than that. That is awful, I see lines, I guess. Another eight, wow, these are all awful. This is what happens when you gamble, guys. Dark Magician Girl, Lost Art Promotion. Oh, 10, 10, 10, 10. Yes, we actually hit one. 10. Yes. Mm. Yes, this is this is a win right here. Oh, this was a rough submission back, but this 10. Fan freaking tastic. Oh my goodness. Finally, a 10. Alright, another one. Lost our promotion, Dark Magician Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nine, cool. Uh, listen, the moment I got that ten, huge rock lift off on my shoulders. I'm all good. I don't even care what these look like now. Dark Magician Girl lost our promotion. Another ten, yes, another ten, ten, <laughs> yes. All right, mm, fantastic. That's mm, Chef's kiss right there. All right. Dark Magician Girl lost our promotion. A nine, cool. We got like three. Three nines. Got like one more after this one. Dark Magician Girl lost our promotion. A nine. Cool. All right. Last card of this submission. I thank you so very much for watching and I appreciate so much that you've came through this channel 
no matter the means if you came through for my PSA collection that I did like only once a year if you do if you come through for my pack openings which I am opening brilliant stars welcome all right here we go dark magician girl lost art promotion a nine all right cool so let's wrap it up I want to say we didn't do too bad our worst card is one of the rarest cards in the Pokemon hobby shining Charizard we got a fair 1.5 which is a really obscure grade apparently so we'll call this an even Blastoise hollow this is basically what I expected call this an even now the Venusaur and Charizard will be nice to get the Blastoise in a 4 so I can have like a matching set. Alas, we didn't. Venusaur and Charizard will call this a disappointment. On to the 5s, I actually forgot that I summoned this card, but getting a 5 Charizard, which is pretty good, and a 5 Alakazam, uh, I count these as a even. Sabrina's Alakazam, I did not expect to get this good a grade, a 6, uh, I count this as a win. Now this Glorak, this Sky Rich Reverse Foil German. Uh, basically, we evened out. I call this a loss. Time to Reverse Foil. This is just like a fun experiment I did. Card isn't even. I didn't really expect this card to do anything. On to the eights. The Dark Charizard getting an eight from a collection that I bought for seventy dollars in the early 2020s. This is an absolute win. Definitely. These two Dark Magician Girls are uh, eights. I count this as a loss. <laughs> I mean, it's a gamble, but it's still a loss, you know. On to the nines. All these nine Dark Magician Girls, um, they're all right, I guess. Like in the secondary market, if we really have to apply that, I mean, since we are a hobby and it actually affects us, Dark Magician Girl nines are pretty decent. They go for like a hundred bucks, which is like a double of what we pay. We pay like fifty bucks for these, and with grading, that's almost like an even now. So we call them an even. These. Hidden Fates Shinies. Uh, there's been a reprint recently with Hidden Fates, and the Espeon is one of the more popular cards, and Charge are definitely super popular. Um, we call this an even, even though I took a gamble with the BGS grading. Even though we got a BGS 9 on our previous grade, and we try to resubmit it. Um, I guess we call this an even. Alright, this one hurts though. A little bit of backstory, even though there's a lot of backstory in this video. I bought the Black Luster Soldier and the Chaos Emperor Dragon as a set for $500, hoping to get a good grade so that I could get, you know, a good addition to my collection. I kind of half suspected that this is going to get a 9 because on the naked eye, it looks like the centering was kind of uneven, but I took a shot anyway. And my hypothesis came true, this actually ended up a 9. Financially, I think I evened out, but on a personal level, this feels so much like a big loss. All right, onto the tents. These are definitely wins. I took a shot by like sending 10 of these and two came back a 10. These are absolute wins and the art looks phenomenal. Lost arts are a great addition and a welcoming addition to the hobby. So kudos Konami, please do keep doing more lost arts. Uh, this thing, this random thing, it doesn't really cost anything but it's a Charizard so I figured why not just throw my Charizard to get graded. A Elite Trainer Box promo as a 10, I call this an even, I'm not really excited about this. This though, I'm gonna attach a photo of when I actually opened the ETB and showed it to my friends and be like, hey, guess what I did when I was watching videos and I was really bored and opened the ETB. Getting a 10 on the card that I actually opened, that feeling feels fantastic. Uh, this feels like an absolute win definitely win and this is the other half with the 500 dollar uh not a really a collection but a 500 dollar lot that i paid <sighs> this feels good getting 10 on one of them definitely feels good but not getting 10 on both of them really hurts but this is definitely a win all right guys that's it for this video thank you so very much for watching my name is zed and i hope you have a wonderful and a fantastic day thank you